This is KGW-TV, Channel 8, Portland. Now, your news specialist. This is News 8 at 5. It was the beginning of a dream come true for a six-year-old Portland boy today. A little boy named Sam, who is dying of leukemia, boarded a jet for Hollywood to meet his idol, the star of the TV show Chips. Sam and his family were granted that wish by the newly formed Portland chapter of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Suddenly, you don't wait for tomorrow to buy the ice cream cone. You don't wait for tomorrow to show them the beach, because there may be no tomorrow. You're going to miss something, you think. You're going to miss out on his life. He doesn't know what he might miss out on. At school, do you know what I'm going to miss? What are you going to miss? Jim. Jim. <laughs> After 35 years, can you feel, you know, should the emotions blur? And they don't. There's no words that will ever be able to put it right, as far as I'm concerned. That wish was paramount in our survival. We have always felt extremely lucky to have been the parents of this wonderful, smart little guy. Come that um, chicken went across the road. How come? Because he wanted to get his eggs. Oh, <laughs> that one's not bad. Every night before bed, he watched chips. This was his every night thing. He loved it. He thought it was great. And so when he chose that, it made absolutely good sense to mom and dad, but it was just a surprising wish. Make a wish, said, give us a couple days, we'll get back to you. There was never a question. And these people went out of their way. They were wonderful. I believe we had a police escort to the airport, and it was my first flight. Sam that day was, I think, completely completely overwhelmed in an amazing way. I, all of us, it was just smiles. We came on the set and Eric and his buddy came out. He, Eric walks up, gets down, and looks right Sam in the eye and says, let's go for a ride and talk. On the bike they go, and away, and away, and away. Mother's heart went bump, bump, bump. <laughs> he didn't like that. And then he came back and he took Amanda as well. I remember they told him, don't go off the set. And we just blew right past the gate and we were gone. It was a lot of fun, to be very honest. I mean, this big group is assembled. They were there for the show, but at the same time, they took a break, they came over. They took a break, came over. They'd sat up his chair so he could watch, you know what I mean? And Eric would walk over, grab Sam's hand, go. He gave, he gave himself, his whole self for that one day. There was nobody else. It was Sam was the person for that day. He was one tired little boy by the end of the day, but it was perfect. Now, your news specialist. It was a dream come true. A six-year-old boy from Portland has just returned from Hollywood where he got a chance to meet his favorite TV star. He's a special young man. He's suffering from terminal leukemia. Sam got a chance to meet Eric Estrada on the TV show Chips, and he also got to watch the filming of the show. Fantastic. What did you do? A whole bunch of stuff. You believe it happened? No. You don't? Sam came home, he should have been exhausted. He was absolutely euphoric. He was happy. He started to become a little bit more confident. And when we got home, Eric Estrada called. He just, he cared. What could he send? What could he do? What, what could he, you know, how could he help in any way, shape, or form? And when he found out that Sam had passed, because it happened very quickly, um, he was devastated absolutely devastated, but still called us for a year or two afterwards. When Sam passed, it was probably, well, it was the most difficult time in our lives. Many families do not make it afterwards. 
the, there's divorce, there's family separation. It's very difficult. It is life altering, changing, period. I believe that Make-A-Wish made us more solid than we ever were before. It helps so much to have those memories. I mean, you see, I still have the sweatshirt. I still have all these things that were so important then. After all these years and all these different moves that I've done, I still have them. It's just, it was always a positive. I mean, it was something so amazing. And it wasn't just Sam. It was all of us. It was a family thing. It was something that we had. And that was awesome. It's not one day, it was, it's forever. I mean, 35 years, sorry, I can get upset. But um, 35 years, your kids lived through in your dreams and now memories. Yeah, and they're all good. Where were you gonna keep your memories? Where do you keep memories of this trip? In your head? Yeah. Whether it be good ones or bad ones. G-O-O-D.